Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we are a collector channel which opens a variety of miniatures, blind bags, and other collectibles. And today I am so excited to be opening my first Funko cooler. Inside you get six soda cans from the Scooby-Doo series. You are guaranteed a chase. And the cooler itself is amazing. It's partnered with Loungefly. And I love my Loungefly mini backpacks. So this cooler will get some use. Love the colors. You have the mystery machine up top. You also have a shoulder strap and the cooler with the cans are limited to 10,000 pieces. It was dropped on Funko.com, but I missed it. So I ended up buying it off of eBay, but I was, you know, willing to pay um, the price I want it for. So that's, that's good. Um, next time I'm going to try very hard <laughs> to be at Funko to try and get whatever their next cooler is. They had a Ninja Turtle one and I think the, well, that was a long time ago, um, which sold out instantly and so did the Scooby-Doo. So excited to see if they're going to do another cooler eventually and what characters. There are some rumors about Five Nights at Freddy's appearing as Funko sodas, which that would be awesome. Okay, so even the zipper pulls have the little Funko crown, which is really nice. And let's see here. Oh, it's packed rather tightly. It has the cardboard inside and it's insulated. So let's get our cans out. Inside we have Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, Phantom Shadow, The Creeper, Snow Ghost, and Ghost Clown. So I really do like how you get four just iconic villains. Phantom Shadow is probably my fave, but Snow Ghost is awesome. The Creeper is hilarious and the Ghost Clown is creepy. So, oh my goodness, where to start? I know the Scooby-Doo chase is scooby Dumb, so you, it's like a whole different character. So let's start with Scooby-Doo. I would be so happy to just have the common Scooby-Doo. There's a look, how cute. And then of course the chance of the chase. It has the Funko exclusive sticker on the can. And these cans are just awesome. That would look so nice displayed together. I'm sure they're gonna make more of the Scooby-Doo crew. Oh, so cute. Okay. So our very first soda. We have the pog inside. And here we go. Yes, it's just regular Scooby-Doo. <laughs> the common Scooby-Doo, which is awesome. Oh, he's so cute. Just the art style of these cartoons work well for the soda can art. Look at how adorable. Has his little dog tag, his spots. Awesome. Yes, I'm very, very happy to, to have him as our first. And then here's a look at the pug. That's adorable. So with counting for the chases, they're a one out of 8,400 for the commons. Yay. Okay, so someone else is a chase. Let's go with Shaggy next. I know his chase has Scooby snacks, which, you know, Scooby appreciates that. And um, just kind of cool that he's the first, like, human one that they they made for Scooby-Doo. And then he's just kind of the common, is just standing there in his classic green shirt. <laughs> got a pog in there, got to give it a shake for good luck because it's a fun sound. And we like some ASMR. So it looks like we have the common Shaggy, no Scooby snacks in his hand. He has like a box and some, some treats. Oh my goodness, he's funny. Just classic, <laughs> like his dangling arms, his, his slacked look, awesome. And those two are just iconic, which means we are gonna have a, a villain chase, which is awesome. Again, you can't go wrong with any of these in this series. I think they did an amazing job. And here's Shaggy's Pog. Cool. <laughs> Again, they translate very well. Okay, next up, let's actually go with the Snow Ghost. Now, unfortunately, his can's a little bent. It was well packaged. I mean, it happens with, with Funko. And the Snow Ghost Chase is flocked, which that would be cool. And he's also just classic. I have the Playmobil figure. They release those blind bags, um, which is really cool. I hope I can maybe press out the can a little bit. We'll see. Okay. So let's see. He's he's heavy. He's a big he's a big snow ghost. I don't think he's flocked. No, he is not flocked. Oh, but he's so cool. Look at the arms <laughs> and the face. 
Wow, and he's solid and so awesome. I love the Snow Ghost. Oh, that's a cool card. Or Pog. <laughs> Open too many Pokemon cards. Very nice. What what a cool big figure. <laughs> Okay, next up, let's grab the Creeper. I love his can because he's creeping. <laughs> he doesn't fill up the, the picture and he looks so spooky, my goodness. So his chase, and the can's a little dented there, not as bad as Snow Ghost. His chase is glow in the dark, which that's pretty cool. And again, all the villains are just so, so classic, so much fun. I'm actually glad they made so many off the bat. Okay, so let's see. I, it's going to be hard to tell if he's glow in the dark. I know there's usually some, some texturing. Ooh, he does feel rough, so I think, I think he might be the glow, guys. Yes, he is. So we got the Creeper Chase. That's awesome. We found the Creeper Glow in the Dark Chase, 1600. Oh, that's awesome. So you can definitely tell the plastic is not smooth. It is coated to glow in the dark. Let's, let's have a look. It's daylight, so we're going to have to take the Creeper into a, a dark place. <laughs> So he glows really well if you saw from the picture. His skin is a lighter green, almost a glittery looking green glowing, and then the jacket also glows very lightly, but still awesome. And I remember when they first released pictures, I liked his can the most because he's creeping in it. He's, he's down low and creepy, which, you know, there you go. <laughs> That's, that is so cool. Okay, so let's open the Phantom Shadow next. I love his can too. Ooh, he's the runner-up of favorites. Or maybe they're tied, but he just cracks me up. So, a Phantom Shadow with his little chains there. And I think his chase was... I don't remember the episode, but there were like different ice cream <laughs> Phantom Shadows. And I think his chase is like the strawberry one. But I'm glad to just get the, the OG classic that I remember. Okay. Oh, he's good too. Oh, come on out. So, there we go. I didn't realize how, how big and solid he is. He feels almost second to the snow ghost. Oh, so cool. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, and I like his hands being all spooky. He almost has like that ghost face mask. And then the chains. Oh, look at he broke out of his other manacle, which, oh, that's such a nice touch. Okay. They did such a great job with that. I love it. <laughs> and then here is his spooky pog. I love it. Love the color combination. Yes, this one's a great one to have just in its its classic form. <laughs> and then last up, we have the super spooky ghost clown. Look at its its eyes are rather intense, and it's kind of hunkered down too. <laughs> so this should be. I think his chase is like purple, but he's holding like the hypnotizing medallion, which is kind of cool too. But I like the. Red as well. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Okay, good. They didn't do the little pupils like on the can. Like, ooh, that one like stares into your soul. So glad they didn't. He's still spooky. Oh, and look at the hands. His clown shoes. Oh, that's. He's cool. He's really cool. <laughs> And then here's, oh my, there's the spooky face. And wow, what an awesome collection all together. And there you go. Here's another look at our cooler 
figures and I'm so happy with my collection because they're all like kind of the OG looks, right? No no color variations, no Scooby Dumb. So I I like that because they do look like all the commons and he's the surprise glow, which is super awesome. So I'm so happy with my cooler and the variety that I got, but you guys will have to let me know which was your favorite figure. It's such a hard choice, but leave me a comment down below. Also, if you've opened the Scooby-Doo cooler, what chase did you get? Um, I'm very curious. <laughs> So that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.